Good morning. Good morning. This is Angie with Pole Transportation. How you doing? I'm doing all right. What's going on? Hey, I was just checking up to see how you're doing. If uh, you're happy where you're at or you're still looking for another trucking job. (laughs) 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 Man, so y'all y'all decided to make the call to me. I'm already uh I'm already talking to uh I forgot his name. What's his name? Corey, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Corey, Yeah. yeah, me and Corey, we uh we we talked uh we talked uh, maybe last year. We need to do. We need to do a follow up. So okay, but uh, is is he still there or or what's going yeah. on? He is still here. He actually is out for a few weeks because he had a surgery. So he'll be. Oh back my god! Week next week. Yeah. Oh, okay. What well, what happened? What what happened to him? He, he okay? Oh, he had he had like a throat surgery. So yeah, he's he's out for the count for a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so who's who's uh who's taking this place? Um, well, my name's Angie. I'm actually the safety director here, and then we got Aaliyah. She's our recruiter too. So oh, you can okay. Talk to us as well. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, well, if you got time, because you know, uh, I I don't know if you I don't know if you're familiar with me, but I'm also in this. I'm also we. I'm also an administrator in this group. But uh, oh, my, okay. I am I I am lockout men. Okay, so nice. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure if you fam- I'm not sure if you're familiar with me or not. Uh No, I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm the one that uh that does all of the uh that does all of the calls and you know for new drivers and all like that. I'm the one that gets all the information out to uh new drivers as far as companies that's looking for you know looking for drivers and all like that so like i said you know me and me and Corey did a did an interview uh i'd say it was last year but uh in the midst of all that he was telling me that it was a lot of changes with uh what what is it pole pole yeah it's pole Mm -hmm. yeah it was a lot of changes that was going on with you guys and he wanted to he wanted to come back on with me to uh to do a follow-up to get that information out so oh nice uh, since you called me, um, yeah. would you like to take the time to uh, to go over what you guys got available? And if so, can I share it with my social media and the group? Well, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, uh, l- let's start by. Um, all right. Well, let's start by uh, introducing yourself. Uh, let let the people know who you are and uh, and and we'll go from there. OK. Yeah, my name's Angie. I'm the safety director here at Pole Transportation. All right. That's it. <laughs> what else do you want me to say? So uh, I've been here for yeah. I've been here for 17 years. Okay. Um, the company company has just been um, in business 30 years this year. Right. So we are family owned and operated. It's a wonderful company. Um, one of the great things that we got going on um, recently is we now have free health insurance for our drivers. So I think that's pretty awesome. All right, so uh, we let, still have our let's yeah. let's tip on that for a second because uh, I recently talked to some uh, talked to a carrier that was up in uh, uh, up in Canada, and you know they health care, with the exception of dental and vision, is like free across the board. So mm-hmm. uh, now let me ask you a question since you mentioned that the company take care of the uh, of the health uh the the health care and all that uh, health benefits and all like that is it still that we got to come out of the pocket like with uh the pay for the deduction or the what what do you call it the deep yeah like the deductible yeah the deductible yes there is still a deductible but at least the good thing is is you know there's nothing taken out of your check to have insurance so basically, you would have to have there. The, all the plans do have deductibles, mm-hmm. um, but like preventative care service is covered in full, so you don't have to meet the deductible and then start paying. So and it, but I don't know. I'm like my daughter; she had a couple appointments um, in July, and I have yet to see any bills for it. So I'm not sure if they're just running behind or what. So okay. So my question is this: like, okay, so initially, all the health care is taken care of, right? But like, if I actually go to the hospital, uh, for like 
surgery or see a specialist or anything like that. Now, do I have to do I have to pay a deductible before I go to the hospital or do I have to pay the deductible? Why? I mean, afterwards or just pay it would be after. So like if you had like a ten thousand dollar surgery after after your surgery, you would basically be reimbursed the hospital and the doctors and everything, the deductible, and then insurance would cover all the rest. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So that's cool. how that works. Yeah. All right, cool. And you and you guys just started that this year? Oh, uh, the free insurance for drivers? Yes. Yep, that's new. Okay, okay. Now let me ask you this. What 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 was the what was the reason behind or what was the idea behind to do a uh, free health care for, for drivers? Well, as you know, you know, the driver shortage is huge. So mm-hmm. it's just we're doing anything we can. We're constantly trying to revisit the benefits and what can we do to bring drivers over, get them interested, you know, because everybody's hiring drivers. Right. And we're just trying to do anything we can so we can get them in here. And uh, that's one of the things because, you know, the thing about, I mean, yeah, all drivers want more pay, but it's like once you give the pay, then it's out there and you have to pay it. So right. it's just like you never know. You know, times are tough. What if when when the economy changes and it's like going to be it, hard for trucking companies again? Then like it did last you know, year. <laughs> exactly. So, um, but that's just we're doing just different options. Um, another thing that we're doing too, we have like. So the company has paid life insurance as well at okay. twenty. It's a twenty-five thousand dollar policy, okay. and now we have uh, additional options that we can. Drivers can opt for going all the way up to a hundred thousand dollar life insurance. Wow! And yeah. that's and and that's now is that paid by the company or the additional? Uh, the additional is paid out of the driver. The, the additional would be paid from the driver, correct? Oh, okay. But it's, okay. it's relatively inexpensive, and you can even get. Um, up to a ten thousand dollar benefit for your children too, and it's only forty eight cents per child, like a week. Okay, I think that's pretty neat too. So. All right, that sounds that yeah. sounds good. All right, so, uh, well, let's start again. Uh, Orient. So, you know, I fill out the application. You know, hypothetically, I get approved and everything. Uh, you guys bring now. You guys are out of Ohio, am I right? Yes. All right. Yep. So, well, I, I'm out of Ohio. So for me, I would probably just, you know, rent a car and you guys will reimburse me in the hotel and everything like that. But for people that's outside of Ohio, uh, how would you guys get them up there for orientation and how long is orientation? So typically we have a pole driver pick up current drivers um we have used buses before plane tickets rental cars so it really just depends on the situation of where the driver's coming from and how far you are um and if you want to ride with a pole driver um orientation is relatively quick and easy it's two days Mm -hmm. it's typically held on tuesday wednesday and then depending on drug screen results we're gonna get you dispatched out wednesday afternoon and typically worst case scenario be thursday morning okay 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 uh, yeah. orient orientation, uh, sign on bonus, anything? Yeah, we got a, well, we do have paid orientation. So after you complete it and you're dispatched out, you'll get $150 for your two days in orientation. And then our sign on bonus is $4,000 and it's paid out in four increments over a six month time frame. Oh, so okay. you get your first 500 the very next week after you start, you'll get another 500 at 30 days. At 90 days, you'll get a thousand, and then at the six month mark, the two thousand dollar bonus. Okay. Now, did it, now did you guys have sign on bonus prior to everything else that is that has changed, or has the sign on bonus been the same? Yeah, sign on. But we've had that sign on bonus for several years. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Um, all right. So, pre employment drug screening, uh, urine or hair follicles or both. It's urine. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So after after orientation, I get out. I get out rolling. Uh, how much? How much can I make per mile? Um. So up to four years, one to four years experience. It's fifty one cents a mile. Okay. Four plus is fifty three cents a mile is where you start out at. Okay. Um. I'll tell you, our drivers in twenty twenty average seventy thousand dollars in pay, mm-hmm. and our top ten percent. Um, of the fleet made 82 grand 
Okay, okay. So I'm a six year driver, so I I will be coming in at that 53 mark. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 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 Uh, so th- is that th- is that 53 out of the gate or 53 with incentives? That's 53. That's your like. We don't have any hidden fees on that. That's straight up all all the miles that you're dispatched. Okay. So all empty miles, getting you home, all that you're going to get paid for. Awesome. Um, and then we have a safety bonus program too that you can earn an additional two cents per mile. And that's a yearly program. So a year of safe driving, you'll get that Ooh. safety bonus check too. Okay. Now let me ask you. Now, now let me ask you this caveat right here. Being that that's a whole entire year, uh, that means I have to go a whole entire year of no no bad inspections, no accidents, no no warnings or anything like that. If we I- don't. It doesn't matter on the the inspections is fine if you had some like stuff on that, but yeah, we you can't have any tickets like speeding tickets um, of five or over, mm-hmm. um, no preventable incidents, accidents, that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. now if I get that, then that that clears me out of the whole year. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that, it's just oh, I know, just reset oh, and you got another year. Yeah. Oh, that would be so sick. If if something will happen, like maybe a couple of days before before it rolls over, oh my I god, know. that will be that will be painful right there. It man. really would. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so let's uh let's let's get into the trucks now. Of course, you know I've seen you know seen the trucks on in our group uh, that you guys have. But what what are the equipment that you guys have? So we got the 2019 and newer, they're the Volvo 860s. Mm-hmm. So they got like, if you want to set it up with the, the bench seats and the table at the bottom, and then you got the loft bed on top. A lot of drivers don't like that setup because maybe they're a little bit bigger. So they, they'll move the mattress down to the bottom, which is fun. And then they just use the top for storage, which right. you can do that. Right. Um, but yeah, those Volvos, they're all automatic. They're nice trucks. Drivers love them a lot. Okay. What what are the amenities inside of the trucks? Um, so we have company provided inverters. Right. Um, and then we do have a very nice refrigerator freezer combo. We've been starting that program where a driver can purchase it on his own and it's just uh it's hundred and seventy one dollars and we take it out in like four increments out of their check once they start getting the full week's pay. Okay. Qual- if you want that. El Eld computer with Qualcomm Samsung. PeopleNet. Oh, it's a PeopleNet. So that's when uh-huh. we, that's where we would get all our 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 dispatches from too by the people yep. through the PeopleNet and everything. Yep, navigation and everything's on there. Do you guys have a a, a cell phone incentive? Well, we do have. Um, we do have plans with Verizon. I think you can get like tw- up to twenty percent off your bill every month if you if you have a Verizon as your carrier. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. That means I got to go and change over to Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, of course, this is all W two, uh, all company. Uh, yep. for uh, not only the benefits that you guys offer, which is free, but uh, what do you guys offer four hundred one k for retirees or stuff like that? So we do have a four hundred one k plan. You can roll in. You can roll over any existing funds um, from other plans at any time. You can't contribute to the plan until you've been here a year. Okay. Okay. So if I have a four hundred one k plan from another from another company that I already started up, I can I can have that roll over too. Yes. Okay. Yep. But let me now. Nah, but let me ask you this now. Let me make sure I just understood what you just said. Uh, once I roll it over, I can't have none of my money to go into it until after a year with you guys. Right. Till after a year. Oh, why? I'm not really sure. Okay. That's a good question. I'm gonna be bringing that up in the next company meeting. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm glad I glad I hit a I'm glad I hit a question that you can ask. Uh, 
uh, home time. Um, now, being that you guys are an Ohio company, you guys are running a lot of regional. I, you know, this is the information that I got from Corey. But uh, you guys run a lot of regional. Uh, home time. The um, full so two days? Or is it just a 34-hour reset? It really depends. I'll say the majority of our fleet would typically get home anywhere from Friday afternoon, evening into sometimes Saturday morning mm -hmm. and then either back out Sunday evening or into Monday. It really just depends on what kind of load you have. And we need to, you'll be working closely with your driver manager to see exactly what you need, right. what we can do. Right. Cause you know, like, it just depends on what kind of load you're under. I mean, if you're something that goes to like Richmond, Indiana, it's drop and hook 24 seven and you need a longer time at home. Hey, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. But if you got something that delivers, let's say out in Pennsylvania at 6 AM and it's a firm appointment, then yeah, you'd have to leave probably Sunday night, you know? Oh, okay. So it just really depends on what kind of, what kind of load you get. Okay. But, uh, now what loads now were you guys drive in and reefer or just drive in? Only dry van. Okay, and what what kind of what since you just drive in what what kind of what what kind of loads that we normally would take? So our biggest company that we haul for is um, a pet food company. So we have a okay. lot of pet food, like a lot of dog food. Okay. Um, we haul for Coles, so it's a lot of DC work for Coles, you know, okay. department stores. Okay. Um, Caterpillar. Oh yeah, we do that. We okay. do some refrigerators. Um, we have actually two dog food companies that we haul for too. So, what, other than that, we we what, do like bottles, like glass. Um, okay, that's like kind of drying up a little bit though. But so you don't. Yeah. So we we hazmat is not a requirement. In other words, no, no, okay. we are not a hazmat authorized carrier all right uh what about northeast what what we looking like uh what what we looking like northeast because uh i'm now i'm not a fan of northeast pain uh so Pennsyl pennsylvania, pennsylvania. Jersey? yeah 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 okay so yeah. we do pa in jersey <sighs> i'll tell you the thing is though when we get you out there we're not like other companies that you're going to be staying out there and doing little short runs. Mm -hmm. You get out there, you deliver, you come right back to the Midwest. It's actually very profitable for drivers. You know, like those are good runs to put money in your pocket because um, the length, the haul, and everything. Yeah, um, right. you, you can keep PA. You 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 can put. <laughs> I, I keep telling everybody you can put PA, Jersey, New York, all that stuff up in that top right corner of the map. You can put that in your pocket. I do not. I am not a fan of that at all. Even though I've done it, I've done it. I experienced it. I at least had to go up there and experience. But yeah, not a fan. But that doesn't mean that I won't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, yeah. you know, just like you just said, you know, you, you just, you just made me crack a smile there because you said that once I get up there. I turn around and get right back out. Yeah, I, I yeah. was with a company that that pretty much kept me up there and kept Aww. me exactly what you said on those short runs, you know, and and them back. Them, oh my God, the back, the back roads, the back roads. <laughs> my God. Oh, I can't even imagine. It's like you get off. <laughs> it, it's like you get off the freeway and you. Still got an eternity to just to get to the uh to the shipper or the receiver, man. That's that's crazy up there. So, but um, but yeah, that that's good. That that's good. That 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 pretty much help uh help the driver out. Uh, back For to sure. the back to the equipment. Do you guys have driver cams in 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 the vehicles? Not inward facing. We just have the forward facing camera. Okay, that's triggered by certain events. Now you know, uh, you know a lot of drivers feel some kind of way about uh, about the drive in the for uh, driver facing cams. Um, oh yeah, at, I, I could still I, I I drove for a company that did have that and and it kind of like didn't bother me, but I kind of understand where they're coming from because it kind of after talking to drivers for so many years, it's like the driver facing cam just says that you guys don't trust the driver at all. So. Yeah. 
see being in safety. I kind I absolutely see why, especially now with the cameras they have, they have like artificial intelligence. So mm -hmm. you can, it'll warn like the dispatch or whatever, when they see a head go down and a phone being in a hand, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. the distracted driving part of it. I can totally see, but I'll tell you. So Brian pole is the president and he's the owner's son. So he will eventually be the owner of this company. Mm -hmm. um, he is highly against inward facing cameras on the drivers because he just feels like it's just like an invasion of privacy. Now, don't get me so, wrong. I agree with you, you know, being that you're, you know, your safety and, and your whole, your whole entire being for the company is, is for the safety of the company, not just for the drivers. And I do understand, like I said, I have drove for a company that, that did have inward facing cameras. You know, they d definitely, you, you, if an accident should happen, the company want to know what the driver was doing at that time. I, yes, I, exactly. I, I I get that wholeheartedly. Um, you know, if the driver was, you know, like you know, like you said, if the driver was distracted or anything like that, he had his phone in his hand. He was testing. He was he was uh you know maybe too comfortable you know because these automatics i i have seen drivers out here that does some crazy stuff <laughs> i've seen i've seen one oh, driver yeah. with his i've seen one driver with his leg like literally his leg like i understand like i've seen drivers with their leg up on the you know on the dashboard especially if you're doing like long hauls or something like that you want to get a little comfortable but I seen a dude with his leg outside of the window, and that's I'm like, what? I'm like, no way, bro. That I, I'm like, bro, come on, that's come on now, that's that's not even funny. <laughs> so, uh, so as as you know, the security, uh, the security as the safety director, such as yourself, you know, that would be like big concerns for you especially if you know if if the driver is driving kind of erratic you know of course the camera will come on and you know record what they was doing if why he veered to the left or why he veered to the right or why he hard stopped or whatever the case i get that but then from a driver's point of view yeah you know they just feel the drivers just feel like look you know, outward facing camera, not a problem. I mean, you know, y'all y'all going to want to see what's going on outside, protect me, protect the company and all that good stuff. But, you know, with a camera facing me, it's just I, I just feel like you guys don't trust me, you know. So. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I see both sides of the spectrum. So. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you yeah, go. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I, I just see both sides of the spectrum. I do too. Absolutely. All right. Um. Well, let me see. We we pretty much covered just about uh just about the gist. What what would be uh you know what would be some of the stuff that you would want the drivers to know uh about poll? Like, what do you mean? Like new drivers? Yeah, like you know drivers. That, yeah, no, well, new drivers. That's a good thing too. We can tip on that also. Um, but like you know, like what you want drivers? What 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 more do you want drivers to know about pole? Why why you want to bring why you want to bring the drivers over to pole? Okay, so we have a ton of. This is a great company for one. Mm -hmm. We are small enough that we're going to know your name. Awesome. We do treat drivers like family. You're not just a number here like you are at other companies. The, and the good thing is, though, we're big enough that you have, like, big carrier benefits, too, you know, but small carrier, but we're a small company. Um, so we have 125 trucks. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely, you know, we, we have, like, the same customers we've had for years and years and years. We're, you know, it's awesome that it's family-owned and operated. I mean, it's absolutely these, the pole family, they care. They care about their employees. I mean, 
I've been I've been here 17 years. If that tells you something, we have yeah. people that have been here. Um, Rick, the vice president, he's been here 29 years. He actually started out as a driver for us, okay. and he worked his way up to the company. He's the VP now, so it's it's pretty awesome. Um, you really won't meet a better group of people to work for, and I say that wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, but we really go over and beyond, like just trying to make the driver and get them. You know, we have to make it. We have to treat our customers right, too, and a lot of times, you know, customers do come first, but drivers come first a lot, too. So the dispatch is working on swaps to make sure loads are delivered on time, drivers get home when they want it and they need it. It's just, it's awesome. Like, you know, I have a driver who's been out of the office for, he hasn't been driving for two weeks because his girlfriend had four brain aneurysms, oh. and he's just sitting by her side. He called me yesterday, and he's like, do I still have a job? Are you kidding me? Yes, you have a job. Okay. Like, you are where you need to be. You be there as long as you want, as long as you need, and then come back to work when you're ready. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think all companies would do that. No, it's that comfort. It's it's that comfort level that you, that you, uh, that you generate with with you and your drivers if if you the company you it's it's always i always say you know the the, the rapport between you and your dispatcher will make your time with the company great yes absolutely and like when drivers come to the here to the yard or in orientation i always tell them when you come back through i expect you to say hi to me i want to talk to you i want to know what's going on and how you're doing are are we getting you what you need you get your miles Ooh, you get your health time i don't know man they you. say <laughs> i don't know they say they say the last person you want to talk to is safety, man. They, I, I know. They That's say right. safety when 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 safety calls you is never anything good. So I don't know, but oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, um, uh, Paul, uh, if you guys are interested in uh, Paul transportation, you definitely can. Uh, get a hold of my man. Well, Corey's going to be out of the pocket for a while. So, how would they get in contact with you? So, you can just e either email, text, message us, get on Facebook, or you can call us at uh, 800 672 8498. And the website is www.poltransportation.com. They're located out of Ohio, so if anybody out there that's interested that stay in the Ohio area. Uh, oh, speaking of which, I know I didn't touch on this, but the trucks. Now, are we now here's here's a two part question, and I'm glad that I'm talking to you about that. Uh, talking to you, safety director. So two part question. First part. Can we take the trucks home? Yes. Second part. I have a uh i have a place uh a secure place for the trailer uh i will also make sure that the trailer is secured via with lock and keeping lock will i be able to pc home with the tractor yes that would be fine just uh how far is home uh I'd say home is about maybe about 10, 15 miles from where oh, I would yeah. park the trailer. That's not a problem. No, that'd be fine. Okay. Now, uh, now I, I, I said two parts, my bad. Now, uh, let's, let's caveat for the PC for a minute. Now, some drivers do tend to use their trucks for, uh, personal use, like you know, they uh, especially on their home time, they probably go to Walmart, fill up their trucks, or whatever the case. Is that okay with your company? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Well, pole transportation guys. Uh, <laughs> what's your name again? I, I forgot Angie. You. Angie, <laughs> thank you very much. Shout out to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for reaching out to me. Um, if you get a chance to talk to Corey, tell him fast recovery. I'll definitely mention it in the uh in the group. Uh, okay. That that he will get a fast recovery, man. Uh, wow. Uh, he he don't smoke, do he? No. Oh man. 
Well, tell them, tell them, lock out me and Lashawn. Uh, say uh, <laughs> fast, uh, get a fast recovery and everything. Okay. And as soon as I finish, uh, finish putting this together, I will upload this to the group, and I will also tag your name on it so that you'll see that is uh that is up and running. Okay, that sounds great. I appreciate you calling. I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey, you too now. Thanks. Bye-bye.